What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm blogging off the phone. This is a sad video, very disappointing video, but I'm blogging off the phone because my camera got stolen. And on that camera, I had about eight vlogs recorded that I was getting ready to edit and put up on the YouTube channel. <clears throat> like I said, I was gonna be vlogging every single day. I've been vlogging every single day. So the other day was Easter and previous days before that I had shot multiple, 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 multiple vlogs. I started a whole new business and I was vlogging the whole process. I was gonna do a video on how I started a business and pretty much take you guys on the journey with me of how that business was going and show you step by step from the beginning to the middle to the end. But you know, businesses, my businesses never meet an end. Huh. I ain't even gonna lie, man. This is a really, really tough video for me to record. I'm not emotional. I'm not gonna cry. Nothing like that. I'm just saying. This is a very tough video for me to record because literally I vlogged videos, vlogs of me grinding of me starting a business from zero from zero and within two days had flipped zero dollars into thirty two hundred dollars within two days and this video was supposed to be a challenge that I did to see how far I could take this 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 challenge or this business and I was succeeding. I made $3,200 in two days. And I vlogged every single moment of it. And then on Easter, I had did a, a vlog. Like I said, I'm going to vlog everything. Business, music, family, everything. So I did a vlog with my daughters on Easter, with my family on Easter, the whole you dig of, you know, me getting together with family, family that I haven't seen in forever because of the whole coronavirus and stuff like that. But with all that being said, I vlogged the video outside playing with the kids. They're blowing bubbles. I vlogged them doing an Easter egg hunt on Easter and you know finding eggs everything i pretty much let my daughters take my camera and record themselves doing whatever for this whole day and i was really really excited because you know this was going to be a vlog you know what i'm saying an easter vlog and besides the fact of that i remember growing up as a kid and my grandfather pulling out his camera, which was like an older video camera where, you know, you take the tape out and put it in the, in the VHS tape, and put it on the TV, and he recorded every little aspect of our lives. So it wasn't even the fact that it was going to be a vlog. It was the fact that I record things on my camera that don't even make it to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? These are just things that I save on my hard drive for me. You know what I'm saying? So I could look back at it, look back at my life. I do share a lot of things with you guys. I do share a lot of my life with you guys. But there's certain things that don't make the internet. You know what I'm saying? These are things for me. These are family moments that I share with myself, that I keep to myself. Because, you know, these are family moments so on Easter I recorded all of this then I go over to a friend's house go over to a friend's house 
they call me. Hey, could you help me carry up these boxes of food that they got from their Easter party? So I'm like, okay, cool. So take my camera, go downstairs. I go and get the boxes of food that they wanted me to carry up. Put my camera in the box with the food, carry it up to their apartment building, uh, to their apartment, put the box with my camera outside of their front door, carry in the box, put it on the counter in their apartment, turn around, go back outside to go get my box with my camera in it and my camera's gone. Then two seconds, two seconds, my camera got stole. And yes, it's my fault. It's my fault because I was being irresponsible, leaving my camera around. But me, in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, it's only going to be out here for two seconds. Two seconds. Who is going to? There's nobody around. Nobody around. Nobody. Who in their right mind is going to see this camera, take it, and run off without me being able to see them that fast? And I'm not even going to lie. I seen the people that stole my camera. I looked them in their eyes chased after them they went down the elevator i'm like i'm not gonna wait for the elevator so i go down the stairs by the time i get there the elevator's open they're gone i'm looking all around can't find them but you know i believe in karma i believe in karma everything happens for a reason obviously it wasn't meant for me to i don't know i don't even know how to explain it man obviously it wasn't meant for me to, I don't know, put them vlogs out. I, I don't know. The universe works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the reasoning was for my camera to get stole and me not be able to put these vlogs out for you guys. Because like I said, I had about eight vlogs recorded on there. And then my new business that I started was a marketing company where I would shoot videos and run social media for these companies. The same day, the day, no, no, it was the day before Easter, I had eight people sign up for this company. Had it all on, on vlog, had it all recorded. Had eight people sign up for my program where I would help market for these companies. But I need a camera to help or to, to pursue this, this business. And now I don't have a camera. So within two days with this business, I made $3,200. <clears throat> Took $1,000 out of that money and went and bought a new camera. My camera will be here on Saturday. But until then, I'm going to vlog off the phone. I'm not salty about it. I'm not sad about it. I'm not feeling the type of way about it, I'm lying. I'm lying. I do feel some type of way about it because somebody stole my camera. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have the, the charger for the camera or they don't even you know even know what to do with the camera. More than likely, they're either going to pawn it or they're going to record themselves on this camera until, until the battery dies and then they'll probably never touch it ever again. And, you know, I just got monetized on YouTube, so... I feel like I need to be vlogging more. I need my camera. I mean, it's unfortunate that my camera got stolen, but I take full responsibility for everything that happens in my life. I take full responsibility for every every little aspect of my life. I'm in 110% control of my life. So if I got my camera stole, okay, that's on me. I was being irresponsible. I should have never left my camera in the hallway for it to get stole. I should have never let it outside of my eyes. If I knew that this is, you know, a source of my income or this is 
something that is helping me build a company that is another source of my income. I take full responsibility for it. You know, I bought a new camera. It is what it is. But just letting you know, I haven't been posting on YouTube a lot lately because, like I said, I had eight vlogs posted or eight vlogs on this camera that just needed to be uploaded. And it got stolen, kind of discouraged me, kind of made me feel some type of way to the point where I'm like, I don't know. I just kind of felt some type of way about it. But it is what it is. I apologize for not uploading the way I said that I was going to upload. But like I said, my camera got stolen. That's no excuse. I should still be vlogging on the phone. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's very, 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 very unfortunate. Because I know that the person that has my camera literally looked me in my eyes and they're not going to do anything with this camera. But it is what it is. It's your boy, Marsha. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? I had a little hiccup in the road, a little bump in the road, but there's nothing on this planet Earth that can stop me. Once I'm going, there's nothing on this planet Earth that can stop me. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to keep building. I'm going to keep grinding. So I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm telling you, it really helps the kid with the YouTube algorithm. It really, really, really does. It does. And with everything I got going on right now, I mean, like I said, I get a new camera on Saturday. It's Tuesday. So, I mean, I'm going to keep posting for you guys. I'm going to keep vlogging for you. I'll vlog off the phone for a year if I have to. But I just really want to put this video out. Let you guys know what's going on with me. Let you guys know why I haven't been posting in a few days. Because, I don't know, I was kind of discouraged. I kind of still am. I'm really blue about the situation because I'm like, really? Like, what are you going to do with it? Let me know. What are you going to do with this camera? Either you're going to pawn it or you're going to wait till the battery dies and you're never going to touch it again. This is something that, you know, was a part of my life. It's my fault, take full responsibility for everything that happens to me in my life. You know, I can't put the blame on nobody else. So, I don't know. Just make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe button. I'm gonna start shooting more videos. I'm gonna show you guys how this business is growing. I wish I could have showed you from the beginning, but it is what it is. You know, life goes on. So let's just keep going, let's keep grinding. I ain't gonna worry about it too much. It is what it is. But it's your boy Marsha. I just wanna make this video and I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe.